Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here on a new microphone and today we're going to be looking at 10 YouTubers who were murdered. We're going to be looking at people who were killed because of their YouTube videos and some other YouTubers who were killed for other reasons. This list is pretty sad but I'm going to try and present it in the most sensitive way possible. I'll include some videos from some of the channels but a lot of them have been deleted. Please drop a like if you enjoy, let's aim for 2000 likes on this video. Alright, now let's get into number 10. Keith Ratliff This man had a gun channel where he reviewed and made tutorial videos on different guns. He even made his own guns and made custom gun attachments for cars. He was heavily inspired by another big gun channel called FPS Russia. In 2013, he was found dead in his office as he'd been shot in the back of the head. He was found with lots of guns around him, just not the one that shot him. There was a big investigation into finding who killed him, but because it happened in his office, there were no witnesses. Also, he lived in a country area, so no one saw anyone near his house. The killer was never found, and the reason that he killed Keith is unknown to this day. Some people speculated that someone who didn't like his videos killed him, but I think that seems a bit extreme to kill someone over a YouTube video, but it could have been for a different reason. Here's some clips of his videos. There you go. With the uh, mag light uh, suppressor, I'm making this specifically. Tamisha Avec Glashen. This lady known as DIY Misha had a YouTube channel with over 140,000 subscribers where she talked about fashion on a budget. She'd been going out with a guy called Dame Schlow, but she broke up with him because he'd been put on probation for murder. He was angry that she dumped him, so he decided to shoot her to death in her own house. What's even worse is that she was a mother of four kids who were actually in the same house as her when she was killed. Luckily he didn't physically harm the kids, but he definitely mentally harmed them by killing their mum. This is the house the murder took place at. Here's a few clips of Tamisha's videos. Time to think about what I'm doing, what I want to do, what my end goal is, what courses I want to take, and start looking after my. Asa Shah. This is the incident that made me make this video. In 2016, four days before this video was made, a shopkeeper called Asar Shah was murdered when he was closing a shop for the night. He'd made a lot of YouTube videos claiming he was a Muslim prophet. This really annoyed another dedicated Muslim called Tanvir Ahmed who decided to kill Asar. He drove all the way from England to Scotland just to kill Asar. He attacked him with a massive knife outside the shop when he was locking up, causing blood to go absolutely everywhere. One of Asar's friends actually jumped in and tried to help, but Tanvir kept stabbing him in the head and upper body. The gruesome attack was caught on CCTV, which hasn't been released to the public yet. The crazy thing is that after killing Asar, Tanvir just waited for the police. When they arrived, he said, I respect you and what you do, and I'm not going to hurt you. Despite this, he will likely face a life sentence. Here's a few clips of Asar's video so you can get an idea of what he was saying. Oh my dear, beloved Scottish and English nation. Did you make them? Mm. Wow. That's you know, eh? <laughs> you know? Yes. Good one. Destin Garrett. In 2016, a 19-year-old high school football player called Destin Garrett was shot to death by a classmate. He had a YouTube account where he posted a bunch of different videos. The shooting was over one specific video which was a music video. He was showing the music video to his friend Frederick when suddenly they got into an argument about it. Frederick hated the video and the argument got even worse as he shot Destin with a gun he had. Destin went to hospital but died two days later just before he was about to graduate from high school. The music video was taken down but there's another video by Destin of him talking about his athletics. They were just saying that they kind of liked how like, I can adjust my routes and like make space for myself on like my speed and such and such but other than that they were just saying they like how I can play like football and stuff like that. Alex V. Alex V was a semi popular YouTuber. There's not much info on this one because it's such a mystery. In early 2012, he disappeared with no explanation. After a massive search party, he was never found. In early 2015, he was declared dead in absentia, which basically means he's assumed to be dead. People don't know exactly how he died, but he was probably either kidnapped or murdered. His channel is now managed by popular Vine user King Furry. Some people thought King Furry had something to do with it, but this was later debunked. There's no longer any videos on his channel, so I can't show you any footage. Prince PTV 
This popular YouTuber made vlog style videos of him talking about current events. He had a sister which he talked about in a few of his videos. His sister had a boyfriend which he didn't like because he thought he mistreated his sister. I don't know if he was being protective or if he actually did mistreat her. But anyway, one day in late 2013, Prince P went to a friend's birthday party. His sister also went with her boyfriend. At the party, him and his sister's boyfriend got into a big argument and then a fight. His sister's boyfriend then pulled out a gun he had and shot Prince P and killed him. A lot of his YouTube friends who were also pretty big back then made videos mourning him. Here's a few clips of some of his videos. Well, what's good, what's good everybody, it's your boy Prince Pete, man. I'm back with another one, with a quick one. But, you know, um, I recently saw that Sandy Hook um, hoax. I don't know y'all like, nigga, where in the hell have you been, my nigga? And uh, my response to that is... Messi Maya. This guy was known for his dyed hair and his funny videos. He made videos about weird people in his neighborhood and also joked about the violence of his area in New Orleans. Unfortunately, his knowledge of violence in his area didn't help him because he was gunned down on a street near his house. The really sad thing is he was just leaving a baby shower for his unborn son who will now never have a dad. A week later, the shooter was arrested and sentenced to four years in jail. In 2016, Beyonce released the song Formation which was about Black Lives Matter and also the Hurricane Katrina. At the beginning, she sampled Messi's voice saying, What happened in New Orleans? which was used as a large part of the song. She said she wants us to revisit his life and his death. Here's a few clips of his videos and also a clip of Beyonce's song. Five, four, three, two, one. Make that ass down like a card. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, yes, then I'm back. What happened at the New Orleans? <laughs> Thomas Brinkley. Michael Cravey, better known by his YouTube name Thomas Brinkley, was known for making fake news story videos and also conspiracy theory videos. In 2014, he ran up to a couple at the University of Florida and stabbed the boyfriend of the couple in the neck. The girlfriend claimed he was laughing as he stabbed the boyfriend. He then went on a crazy high-speed police chase. Four hours later, he was shot in a parking lot by someone who was angry at him for the killing. Some people thought it could be someone who didn't like his conspiracy theory videos, but I think that's a bit too convenient that someone would kill him just for a YouTube video on the same day he kills another guy. Most of his videos have been removed, but here's a few clips of some of his conspiracy theory videos. Is damaging to that which is paying you minimum wage because what they're, you know, we already know about all that. We've already been through all of this, but here's what... All right, so a pretty big issue got kind of cleared up. Basically, that thing I was going through yesterday with a hacker, even though this person could not be a hacker. Asia McGowan. This was one of the first people to get big on YouTube. Her subs and views may not look like a lot today, but eight years ago, that was a lot. In 2009, she was at her school in Detroit called Henry Ford College. Suddenly, a 28-year-old man walked into the school, shot Asia, and then himself. The guy who killed her targeted her because she was black and a woman. The killer was actually a YouTuber himself and made a video called Black Women Don't Deserve Respect. Asia actually made her last ever video about her haters and addressed people like the killer and other trolls. Here's some clips of her videos and then a clip of her killer's video. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Okay, this don't go out to all the YouTube people. It goes out to just about YouTube haters. Yeah, so finally paid attention to you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right. Uh, this is a video response, and uh, I guess I'm somewhat responding to a comment on my fucking board by this guy on my video, the last video I made about black women or whatnot. His name is Johnny Two Something. I don't fight for Christina Grimmy. This insanely popular YouTube singer had almost 4 million subscribers. After a concert in 2016, she was tragically shot by a crazy man. Her brother tackled the killer but shot himself as he was being tackled. Many people mourned her death including some big celebrities. She is currently the most popular YouTuber of all time to die. Here's some clips of her singing and her vlogs. Hey guys, what's up? It's Christina. Duh. First of all, what's going on? How you doing? How's Team Grimmy? I'm so excited because I have a brand new EP coming out very soon. Me. I was wondering if after all. Make sure you guys vote in the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the craziest murder. For me, I think it was Christina Grimmie just because that's so sad. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.